The second step is the job search process. Um, there's a lot of ways to find jobs. Uh, I do have a video on that, so feel free to check that video out. But my two favorite platforms are one, LinkedIn, and two, CareerMind. Um, so I already pull, pulled up some um, sample job postings. So some things to know is that um, job postings are typically open for a maximum of two weeks, uh, but they can close sooner than that. So typically I would recommend people to apply to a new job postings uh, within one week of the posting going up. So as you start to identify these job postings, um, you should at least read through the job description and understand a little bit about the company, uh, what work you'll do. And by doing that, it can help you decide if you want to apply for the job. So for example, um, do you like the work that it will be required for you to do? Um, are you available for the entire time? So an important thing to find out is how long this work term is for. So this um, job posting from Dino Nobel uh, is 10 to 12 weeks. Some postings for co-op is usually eight to 12 months, but it can be as short as four months or it can be as long as 16 months. So that's something that you need to find out from the job postings. Um, this posting does include pay, but most job postings um, will not include that information. And so by reading the job description, you can screen out jobs that you don't want. So you don't have to uh, waste your time and energy putting a application for something that you don't want. So as you read through the job description, you want to understand what the key skills are for this position. So typically they have a, a, a section for what we're looking for. Um, and as, as you identify those skills, you want to adapt your resume to it. Uh, same thing with the key attributes and, and values that the company is looking for. And you should key into those and use that to adjust your cover letters. So we'll come through some examples uh, in just a little bit. Other things to note, um, while the core of your resume and cover letters can be the same for the application, those are the little things I previously previously mentioned that you should be tweaking between each application so you could tailor your application to that specific job. And one more thing is that um, once you have your resume, your cover letters ready, just submit online. Typically the application process is fairly straightforward. You fill out your basic information, so your name, where you live, um, date of birth, you would upload your resume and cover letter uh, and they may ask you a few questions for uh, how long you're available, whether you have legal rights to work in Canada, uh, and then you would submit the application.